Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. <laughs> Give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. All right. I remember last time I played it, I had a glitch happen, unfortunately. Uh, because I apparently did something in the wrong order there and the game just froze and I had to reload so I hope I hope it's going to go okay this time we'll see uh, just to make sure I'm going to save here Just in case something does go wrong, I can uh, can easily reload from here. Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? Uh. I've come to pick up my parcel. It's waiting for you there on the counter, miss. Why, thank you. Let's see. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time, I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Goodbye, Mr. Felix. You haven't changed your mind, then. I could do you a good deal on the royal suite. Thanks very much, but I really must be going. All right, let's check the package. I think last time I saw the package on the counter and I checked it before I talked to him and it, uh, it all froze up the game. So I think this time it should be fine. Get that. A mammoth that told me to. Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dinero. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumbo-jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madam Romansky would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. Hotel bar. Is 
way. Even though I know that this game um, obviously has a sequel and it ends with a with a cliffhanger, not to spoil anything. Um, I still really love the ending. I think it sort of works on its own as well. Uh, I think it's a beautiful ending in any case. Madam Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Conco's grad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgotten. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. You've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorarlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. I think uh, what uh, Madame Romansky said there basically sums up a uh, bit what i tried to say earlier the theme of the game um everyone you meet or every uh town you're in uh once was beautiful and and glorious uh but by the time you visit them uh they decayed for many many years and uh, the people in it sort of withering away in their in the past. Um, yeah, I think that that sort of sums up the general feel of of the game and the places and people you visit. And guess who this is? Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You brought the train, then. That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate... Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, 
I'm sorry, Mr. Vorlberg. I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilen. It's, uh, my job, you understand? Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Vorlberg, the factory belongs to you now. And I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away on the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right. Now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Real dumb. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure is all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York, too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. So that was Siberia. Uh, 
like I said a couple of times, beautiful game, uh, even though the graphics are 15 years old by now, uh, it still looks great. Uh, the main attraction to me is, is the story. I, I really enjoy the, uh, the, the, the theme uh, where you, you encounter all these sort of lost and forgotten places that um, are no longer what they used to be. Uh, Valadilen, uh, which used to be thriving with the automaton factory. Then Barokstadt, uh, which used to be a great university uh, and nowadays barely has any students. Uh, then you, you encounter that man who has guarded the wall and, and is there all alone, uh, forgotten by the military. Uh, Komkolsgrad, which was left to decay after the uh, industrial town was no longer needed. And the Cosmodrome, which was abandoned as well after Hans left it and they couldn't make the items work anymore. And then finally, Aralbad, where people used to go to uh, recover and to have glorious hol holidays, but nowadays it's, it's all decayed and uh, only has a few guests. Uh, all the people you meet, you, you help them find uh, something new to look forward to or something old they've always wanted but could never really grasp. Uh, even the, the only sort of villain in the game, uh, the director of Comcolsgrad, you help him uh, by bringing... Uh, by bringing Ms. Madame Romanski to him to hear her sing for one last time. So yeah, beautiful game, beautiful story. Uh, the puzzles are quite fun and, and easy to figure out uh, without being too easy. Uh, it's it's uh, great overall. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll probably be doing Siberia 2 as well in the future.